parts you shouldn't miss are these vintage feeling curves. A cute nose. And I also add pretty ribbons. It's good to lower the opacity to make it look thin. We used to dial numbers by turning the dial with our fingers. So it looks a 3D shape. I wanted to draw the part where you put your finger in well. Hardcover books like this always have a bookmark. Hello, I'm Bella Land. Today's drawing is about items that might be found in a 90s girl's room. I collect several pretty pictures and then choose the ones I want to draw. I'll sketch them out first. When arranging these various items, it's a bit tricky. So I'll draw the big things first and the small ones later. I'll start with the guitar, then a slightly old gramophone, and then a teddy bear. I tried proceeding like this. It's been a while since I've seen a cassette tape. And I also included a vintage telephone. The arrangement is done. Since it's digital drawing, I can change the arrangement later, but I prefer to set it up first. Even for simple drawings, I always sketch like this, and then draw on top. This gramophone's shape is a bit complicated, so I'll simplify it. I'll start by drawing it a bit like a flower shape, and then I'll color it. The parts you shouldn't miss are these vintage feeling curves. You need to make sure to add these kinds of moldings. Inside, you should express a slightly separated feeling. Since it's going to be a simple illustration, I didn't want to make it look too glossy or have too much contrast to make it not look realistic. So, after a lot of thinking, I drew it like this. The parts in the molding are darker. And the parts that I think are sticking out are brighter. And I also drew the part where the button is pressed. But it wasn't very visible, so I drew it a bit roughly. Now let's draw the teddy bear. I'll draw the teddy bear too, not too complicated. First I'll cut off the parts where the arms and legs connect a bit, and add a cute nose and make the parts that stick out like the soles of the feet a bit brighter. I'll also add a pretty ribbon. I like drawing guitars and instruments, but I don't know guitar's detail. So I'm drawing it a bit roughly as I see it, highlighting the parts that I think will stand out. I'll try to proceed like this. I first expressed the thickness of the guitar and added a slightly bright outline. Erased the open parts, added a few more details to the components. On the guitar there are these lines. These lines are drawn clearly for now. But when everything is drawn, it's good to lower the opacity to make it look thin. Even though we don't use these phones now, we used to dial numbers by turning the dial with our fingers. There was one at my grandmother's house when I was young. Added some shading and adjusted the size a bit. I also decorated the dial part. Rather than getting too detailed, just capture the overall feeling drew some wavy lines, and after everything is drawn, the guitar looked a bit dull, so I added this wood texture. Now I'm going to draw a globe. I'm not going to draw it exactly like a real map, I'll just do it roughly. I really like the colours of this globe. The globe we had at home when I was young wasn't like this one, it was a bit blue or something like that. But this one has such pretty colours. 
I'll just put it in without worrying about the real map. I'll also show the divided parts, and I'll add some molding to the wood. Since the countries are stuck together, I'll separate them a bit, and I'll add some text too. I added a little shading to give it a slightly 3D shape. I'll also draw a vintage Polaroid camera. It doesn't need a lot of colors, just black and gray should do. As I color this camera, I kind of regret not finding a prettier one to draw with different pictures. But even though the shape isn't that pretty, I'll still do my best to draw it. Continuing to color the parts, adding some folded parts at the back, I'll try to draw it exactly like in the picture for now. Adding buttons and drawing the lens too, it looked a bit dull, so I just added some shading here and there. I'll also show the small text. Even if you're not from the old days, you know these tapes, right? I used to listen to these a lot back in the day. Buying albums, recording from the radio. Seeing this mixtape label on top in the picture, this tape in the photo doesn't seem to be an original album, it seems like a recording. I'll add some nice colors, and I'll also show the tape wound inside. I tried really hard to draw the part where the finger goes in well. I'll also put on the label that says mixtape. I liked how it looked. For the text, I tried writing it in a cool way, and then I arranged it. As for the glasses, I thought about what to draw, and it seemed easy to include them as an item, so I chose them. I'll draw one and then duplicate it and flip it. After drawing the lenses slightly, I'll lower the opacity. Now let's add the stack of books. There are open books and books stacked underneath. I'll color the open pages in a light orange beige. Since the color was too dark, I adjusted the brightness and instead I'll make the side a bit darker. That way, it might give a feeling of being stacked. I'll also draw the covers of the books. And I'll add color to the books stacked below. I'll try to make them look slightly different from the picture. And I'll mainly use similar colors so that the drawing doesn't feel too big difference. I'll color the inner pages of the books. I'll use the beige color I used earlier. I'm going to add some shading between the stacked books. I won't draw too much detail, but I'll add a little bit to avoid it looking flat. Instead of drawing exactly as in the picture, I'll put it in a way that fits my drawing. I was considering leaving the open pages as they are, but I decided to add some text. When adding this, it's good to space it out a bit. I'll draw lines and erase some parts. And how about adding a bookmark? Hardcover books like this always have a bookmark, so I'll make sure not to forget it. I also drew a notebook. In the picture, it's a side-stapled notebook, but I changed it to a top-stapled one. Since the color I wanted didn't come out, I tried several times. I duplicated the same thing and put it below, and added shading between them to express thickness. I'll make it look like there are several layers, and on top, I'll add some wavy lines for texture. I'll also add some springs, 
If I erase some parts of the connected springs, it seems the shape will come out well, so I tried erasing some parts. This notebook, it would look nice if there were some writings on it, so I tried adding lines to the notebook first. I added pretty lines in red and blue. I'll also try adding some text inside like this. And I tried drawing a yellow colored pencil next to it. I added the pencil tip, a bit of shading. After finishing drawing the teddy bear, I thought it would be nice to have a bit of fur texture. So I'll do some retouching. I already drew the nose earlier, but I also added a cute mouth. Now I'll add some decorations around the drawing. Even if the drawing doesn't have a big meaning, it's okay. Today, I'll try adding a sprout. And I'll also put in a few flowers. That's it for today's drawing. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.